hood rich Pablo Juan went from selling drugs to some of the biggest rappers in Atlanta to becoming one of them. He had a wild come up in the streets and made it to the top of the game. But after allegedly getting robbed a few times and dropped from Gucci Mane's label, his career started falling off. To make matters worse, he's fighting a RICO charge right now and is being blamed for his involvement in the death of Lil Baby's best friend, Marlo. Here's what's going on. Pablo was born in Newark, New Jersey, but when he was a kid, his pops went on the run from the police and they ended up moving to Atlanta. Pablo's dad was heavy in the streets back in the day, but eventually he turned his life around and became a dedicated Muslim. They have a huge family with seven kids, and Pablo says it was a strict household up until his dad passed away. Pablo hopped off the porch at a young age and started moving weight in the city. He was already cool with dudes like Young Thug, The Migos, and Future before he ever hopped in the booth. At first, Pablo ain't even plan on getting in the rap game. He was already bringing in racks from hustling in the street, so he ain't see why he should switch it up and get in the music industry. But one day, the cops allegedly kicked his door down and robbed him. And that's when Pablo decided to really give rapping a shot. Everybody around Pablo was already pushing him to hop in the booth. He had the look and vibe for it, and they knew he was really out there in the streets, so he could tell real stories in his music. Pablo's baby mama called him out for living a lifestyle his son couldn't even be around. Pablo wanted to be able to just have a normal day with his son and not have to worry about street drama getting in the way. And he gave his baby mama a shout out for making him a better person. Another thing that pushed Pablo into music and out of the streets is how much support he got in the rap game. He told the fader that there's way more love in music than there is in the streets, and everybody around him just wanted to see him win. And since he already had connections in the rap game through the streets, it was an easy transition into the industry. Pablo got off to a crazy start and dropped five mixtapes in 2015 and five more in 2016. He was already buzzing in the city, but in 2017, he took it to the next level when he dropped the track We Don't Love Him on his debut album. The song popped off and it's racked up over 50 million plays on Spotify, and it led to Pablo signing the Gucci Mane's 1017 Eskimo label. Linking up with Gucci should have been the biggest moment of his career, but then Pablo started taking L's on social media and became known as the dude that everybody robbed. In 2019, rumors started flying that Pablo was beat up, robbed, and was forced to take his clothes off in a recording studio. A lot of people were allegedly involved with the situation, but there's no evidence it ever even happened. One time, he did lose a chain when he was trying to squash a situation between a rapper named Q the Fool and some of Pablo's homies. Pablo did an interview with No Jumper and broke the situation down. According to him, So before I can even do that, I'm trying to talk to the I do know, and some hit me from behind. Oof. Pablo hopped back up ready to fight, but the other dudes was already running away, and that's when he realized one of his chains fell off when he hit the ground. After it went down, Pablo posted a picture of his bruised up face and told fans that he got jumped. The dudes who took the chain started posting videos of them wearing it on social media. And that's when Pablo's manager hopped in and offered to pay him 60K to get it back. Y'all want 20 back for the chain? All right, we got 60. 60K right now for all three of y'all. Play. Who won? 60. Getting sucker punched and having your chain fall off is a lot different than getting it snatched off your neck. But by the time Pablo came out with his side of the story, everyone was already clowning him for allegedly getting robbed twice. Even 21 Savage and Young Nudie made fun of the situation on IG Live. I, I got jumped, I'm gonna be all right though. Shit been getting crazy lately, but it really ain't here for me. I blame on your answer, you feel what I'm saying? You popping them if they, if they ain't jumping. You had somebody with them? Man, you know I always got somebody with them, man. Ain't nobody walking around by their goddamn self. If that wasn't bad enough, Gucci Mane ended up getting rid of his whole 1017 Eskimo label and started his roster over without Pablo. Pablo was still on the grind, but his career wasn't headed straight to the top like it was a couple years earlier. Another video came out in 2019 showing a dude named Hood Loco pressing Pablo for a feature in a jewelry store. According to Pablo, Loco was asking for like a 50% discount, and he felt disrespected that someone would try and lowball him like that in public. He told Bossip that if Loco had tried to make a deal privately, they could have worked something out, but instead, Loco went for the clout and tried to clown Pablo in front of everyone. Pablo was obviously ready for the smoke though, and security ended up having to get in between them to stop it from turning into a full fight. No, 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 we good, 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 we good. Pablo has been clowned a lot on social media over the years, but according to dudes who know him for real, he's never been one to back down. A producer named Spiffy had an interview where he talks about the legendary dice games that used to go down to quality control records. According to Spiffy, P from QC hates gambling and he'd even make security guards leave their guns in the cars whenever artists came through shooting dice. Leaving burners at the door makes the situation a lot safer, but it ain't stopped Pablo and Offset from allegedly throwing hands over a dice game. 
Spiffy says they had a little issue and got into a fight over it. But by the end of the night, they was already cool again and making music together by the next day. There's no video to back his story up, but it sounds like Pablo ain't afraid to catch a fade if he needs to. But in 2020, Pablo allegedly got robbed again and the ops posted his jewelry on social media. In 2020, a dude named MPG Lil Rock hopped on social media and claimed he had jacked Pablo's jewelry. He posted a video showing off a big collection of ice plus a 1017 chain. In the video, he said, there ain't no more Pablo one, nigga. What I'm saying? I don't, I don't even think, I don't think Gucci can get that back for you. What I'm saying? I don't think Gucci can get this, get that back. It's real over with. Pablo's getting clowned like crazy over the video, but he clapped back and said it was all cap. According to him, he ain't even on the jewelry anymore. On IG, he wrote, y'all funny, ain't shit happened to me. He also posted a video of himself riding around with a bunch of jewelry and cash on him, calling out everyone who was trying to diss him online. It looked like Pablo was ready to prove he wasn't the one to be messed with. But then, in October 2020, he got wrapped up in a RICO case and has been sitting behind bars ever since. Pablo was always low-key about his street activities, but the cops say he's a member of the Rolling 20 neighborhood Bloods and they booked him in a massive case with 45 other dudes. The investigation started back in 2019, and the cops put together a special case called Operation Cage Dove to collect evidence of assault, robbery, murder, and more. Pablo got hit with two charges for violating the Georgia RICO Act, but it's not clear exactly how he's tied to everything. He's already been sitting in jail for over two years, but he don't even have a trial date set yet. A few months before he got booked, another rapper from the city named Lil Marlo was shot and killed while he was driving downtown. According to reports, his car was hit over 100 times, but nobody's ever been arrested for the hit. Marlo was one of Lil Baby's closest friends, and Pablo had worked with both of them in the past. But now, rumors are flying that Pablo was involved with the murder. There's no evidence to prove it yet, but reports have been coming out that a gun registered in Pablo's name was found at the scene of Marlo's shooting. Nobody knows why Pablo would want Marlo taken out in the first place though, and there's nothing out there to back the story up. If he doesn't catch a murder charge, Pablo might be coming home sooner than most fans expected. The news just broke that he took a plea deal in the RICO case and got hit with a 15-year sentence. But Pablo only has to serve at least five, and the rest of it will be spent on probation. And if the judge grants him time served, Pablo could be back home in just a couple of years. Pablo still has a lot of connections in the industry, so if he beats the case, he could hop right back in the game. But right now, he has way bigger things to deal with than worrying about his streaming numbers. So hopefully, he's got a good legal team ready to fight for him. New details could break in the case any day. So y'all tap in for updates.